Good morning viewers. I'm teacher Betty, the chemistry teacher, continuing with the laboratory preparation of gases. Last time we looked at laboratory preparation of oxygen, whereby we added hydrogen peroxide to manganese 4 oxide, which acted as a catalyst, and then we generated our oxygen. The prepar laboratory preparation of oxygen involved only two stages the preparatory stage and also the collection stage. We went further to look at the properties where we said oxygen is a colorless, odorless, and tasteless gas. We ended on the uses of oxygen, whereby we said oxygen is used for respiration. Here, for those who have been seeing images for COVID, you, were being, you, 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 you saw the patient being supported by oxygen to assist in respiration. It can also be used in hospitals during operation of the sick and so many other applications. Oxygen can also be used as a fuel where it is used in the space rockets. It can also be used in welding where oxygen is added with the, or is mixed with the acetylene to produce the hottest flame known as the oxyacetylene flame used for welding steel. Today, we are going to look at laboratory preparation of hydrogen. In the laboratory preparation of hydrogen, we need copper 2 sulfate, which is a catalyst, zinc metal, a conical flask, a separating funnel, it can be a thistle funnel, but now we have a separating funnel, a gas jar to collect the gas, a delivery tube to deliver the gas to the gas jar, a stand, hydrochloric acid, a splint, a behave put in a trough. The trough should be having water. The procedure is as follows. Add zinc granule or zinc powder into a conical flask. You slide. Do not drop. Followed by copper sulfate, which acts as a catalyst. Remember I told you a catalyst is a substance that speeds up the production of the gas or the rate of production of hydrogen. For this time, for this, for this case, we are going to use copper 2 sulfate. Not too much since it is a catalyst which does not take part in a chemical reaction. You connect a, um, a separating funnel fixed in a cork. A delivery tube, which will help us to deliver the gas. Then put water in the gas jar and invert it on the behave. I said you put zinc into a conical flask followed by copper sulfate, which is a catalyst. Then you connect the apparatus as shown, invert the gas jar with water. Power dilute hydrochloric acid into a separating funnel and open the tap. You are observing the bubbles, that is hydrogen. 
How do we test the gas? We test it with the, a burning splint. <laughs> the pop sound is produced. <laughs> observed or seen how we have prepared the hydrogen from zinc and dilute hydrochloric acid using the copper as a catalyst. We involved only two stages, the preparatory stage and the collection stage. You observed how hydrogen was displacing water by downward displacement of water and then we tested the gas with the burning splint which produced a pop sound. So. Basing on our observation, we can generate the properties. It was colorless, odorless, and tasteless gas. The uses. Hydrogen is used as a fuel, where hydrogen is mixed with the oxygen to produce the oxyhydrogen flame, which is the hottest flame, about 2,000 degrees Celsius. This high temperature is used to melt some metals. Another use is used in hardening of oil, so, during the production of oil, oil is in a liquid form. So, it is hardened by bubbling hydrogen through the oil. The blue band you see and the other fats that are produced are hardened by oil, but before it, they were in a liquid form. Another use, it is used in preparation of ammonia, where hydrogen is mixed with nitrogen in different ratios in the haber process to produce ammonia. It is used in production of petrol, whereby hydrogen is reacted with the coal, or is mixed with coal, under certain conditions to produce petrol. Balloons and airship. As we are aware that hydrogen is the lightest gas, it's used in weather balloons and other balloons which can be used during war. In conclusion, Hydrochloric acid react with the zinc to produce hydrogen. Hydrochloric acid react with the zinc metal to produce the solid and hydrogen gas. We balance the equation and then so let us look at few activities. The first activity is from 1999, paper two, number four. Figure one is a setup of an apparatus used to prepare hydrogen. We are given X and Y in the figure, and we are told to identify X and Y. X is dilute hydrochloric acid, and the Y is zinc granule. Part B, write an ionic equation for the formation of hydrogen. So we said X is hydrochloric acid, aqueous, and then Y is zinc, which is a solid. In our explanation, previous explanation, we said it reproduces zinc, solid, plus hydrogen. I told you those which are an aqueous form, they ionize, and a solid and a gas do not ionize. The first one is a plus, the second one is a negative, a plus and a negative. Make sure that the equation is balanced. We have two chlorines, so we have to introduce a two here. We close those that are similar. The chloride is similar to a chloride, and then I remain with the two moles of hydrogen ions reacting with the zinc metal to produce two zinc ions. We will introduce the valence of zinc plus hydrogen gas. I told you the gas do not ionize. So this is the ionic e equation. Part C. Hydrogen was passed over heated copper to oxide. State what was observed. Copper to oxide is black. When we pass through hydrogen, the black will turn to brown. Therefore, the answer will be 
copper to oxide will turn from black to brown. Roman number two, write the equation for the reaction. You could be on one. Copper to oxide, which is a solid reacting with the hydrogen gas to produce copper metal plus water. This one is black. We pass hydrogen over it, it will turn it to brown. Another example is from 1998, number 2, paper 2. Part A. Write an equation to show how hydrogen gas can be prepared from zinc and dilute sulfuric acid. Remember in our experiment we use the hydrochloric acid. The reaction is the same except the acid is different. Zinc plus dilute sulfuric acid to give us zinc sulfate plus hydrogen gas. The equation is balanced. Part B. Hydrogen was reacted with copper oxide. State the conditions for the reaction. The conditions are the gas hydrogen must be dry and also heat. Roman number two, what was observed? Black copper oxide turned to brown copper. Next example is from 1998, paper one, number eight. In the laboratory preparation of hydrogen from zinc and dilute hydrochloric acid, the reaction is increased by adding A, nickel, B, copper sulfate, C, platinum, and D, manganese dioxide. You remember during our experiment, what was the catalyst? Copper sulfate. The last example is from 2000, number seven, paper one. Which one of the following aqueous solutions will produce hydrogen gas with magnesium ribbon? That of A, pH 14, B, pH 7, C, pH 11, and D, pH 2. Let us look at the pH scale. pH 7, this is the pH scale. pH 7 is referred to as a neutral pH. An example is water. So from 7 to 1, this is an acidic pH. And then from 7 to 14, this is alkaline. Remember in the preparation of our hydrogen, we reacted hydrochloric acid with the zinc. So when we react any metal with an acid, we produce hydrogen. So the pH which is most probably used to react with the manganese ribbon is pH 2. Bazinanga Zipa, 
Never yet to us, 